Uh, welcome back to, uh, I Tolerate Colonel Sanders. I'm gonna start eating this food. Uh, especially since, oh, I have to eat it with a spork. And, uh, we're about to fight the spork monster. Listen to these, 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 these spork sounds. It's, uh, I got the... See, the reason I didn't start eating yet this whole time, I wanted to wait until it was a, a relevant part of the game. I didn't really want to say that I got this because I know that it's going to come up in the game. It's the... Mac and Cheese Bowl, the new Mac and Cheese Bowl, I guess. Which, I guess maybe that's why they made this game, to advertise that? There hasn't really been a large advertising presence for this in, like, commercials and stuff. Uh, like, they were, they had a, a whole, com it was like a new commercial run with, with, like, Sean Astin as, like, the Rudy Colonel. Just to advertise that they have free chocolate cake now if you get, like, a ten-piece meal or whatever. Uh, it's not, uh, no, I don't want to, like, say what their, what their deals are, but, like, just for context. But there was no Colonel for this new Mac and Cheese Bowl. But there is this game, which features this... I imagine limited run product, so maybe this is like the official advertising for it. Um, I didn't want to mention it because I didn't want to. I didn't want to reveal that I played so so like 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 a like a damn fool into their advertising just so that I could be eating this while recording the game, uh, like like some kind of shill, but for KFC. Listen, though, I, KFC is one of the few companies, honestly, I would probably s sell out for. Uh, I, I would I would chill for KFC. Like, fuck it. It's funny. It'd be funny to chill, uh, sell, uh, sell out for KFC. It's like that, Subway. Yeah, those those two are the ones that it would be funny. And I also like 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 eating at those places. Um, also, AMC. I don't know. That wouldn't be funny, but I like AMC. Some good shows on there. It's mm. And, uh, some, any, any, any line of candy, because, you know, I'm Candyman 106, I love candy. Uh, anyway, Spork Monster. He's back. Gorgo, the Spork Monster, I don't remember his voice, is here to fight a hero. Does anyone else feel a bit of deja vu? Also, I said, I said the, the... Mac and cheese bowl will probably be gross because their mac and cheese is gross. So I really am just only getting it for the, the video. Well, I do want to try it. Yeah, let me try it right now. I mean, it's alright. I think it's less watery than it was before. I got a side of corn because, you know what, it reminded me of, um... Sometimes when I get banquet frozen dinners, I have like chicken nuggets, frozen uh, chicken nuggets, corn and mac and cheese. I'll mix it all together. Not mix it. I'll, I'll like layer it together. So you know, if I put corn in this, it'll probably be really good. We got a side of corn. I'm just mixing it in now. This is just. I'm not even playing the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. <laughs> that was Borko, my twin, so it doesn't matter if I do the right voice. And I, Gorko, I'm here to avenge them. Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. No, I wouldn't. He was gonna hurt people. I didn't know they were so sentient. I think what Wild Kun is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I mean, he kill we killed his brother. I suppose we really don't need to fight? It's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. They're sports, dude. Oh, mm, this is how he. Well, he was already. He already said he likes sports. All the better for tasting, for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. Inspiration strikes, and you come up with a quick idea. 
Chomp on this! <laughs> you toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. You don't need sporks to make eat a biscuit. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. I don't believe it. You were a human once? Well, no. I was a chihuahua. Oh. <gasps> Is this gonna be the Taco Bell Chihuahua? But I was still a student at this school. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book? Dude, if this is the talk about Ch Chihuahua, I'm gonna fucking flip. Precisely! Borko used to have a copy, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef and so shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. Sounds like there are some bad cooks in the, sh in the kitchen of life. Ronald Coon, together I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss? Come, come back to my hideaway and we can discuss? Hmm? I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna see him in his chihuahua form. He's just forever that way. But hey, maybe it was like a slick reference to Taco Bell. They're both owned by by Yum Brands. Uh, Yum Brands. They're both owned by Yum Brands. I mentioned that last episode or whatever or so. Last episode or so. So you know, probably. I mean, what uh, are they gonna make a uh, Pizza Hut reference as well? A personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, that's one of the KFC scented candles they had. That's a real thing they released. That's a safe? And there's... that looks like it's actually him as an old man. So how is he old in this? It's weird. Him in Egypt. Him as a baby with chicken. What's in the, uh, what's in the urn? Is that a comb? I don't know, this is kind of interesting. Stepping inside Xander's home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you sieved, lived, you sieved such an excellent, uh, I, whatever. Looks like you lived such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Please, call me Harland. Call me Sa call me Sandy. Please, call me Sandy. Sandy Cheeks. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Uh, potato wedges or coleslaw? I think it's coleslaw because that was in the opening. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Could it be mac and cheese? What is it? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Yeah, fuck it, reveal it. I want to know. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Excuse me. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you describe you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. On ice? Oh it must be the it must be the coleslaw. Excuse me. I was just taking a sip of my KFC sweet lightning mountain dew. I present to you my original coleslaw. Called it, kind of. I mean, I listed a bunch of things. The shredded cabbage just glisten, glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' luck, Luke's lo, 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 hideaway. Is that short for luxurious? Luxury? How did he get, like, the KFC style bowl? That's, like, what Colonel Sanders. It, like, matches Colonel Sa Sanders' outfit and everything. I don't really like coleslaw. My mom does. <gasps> Magnificent! Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until it's just a sp 
to just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Make that a sporkful. Let me get spork sporkful here. It's not close up, but it, it, it will do. Just what one second. Oh my gosh! You know they need bigger sporks. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm actually. This is a complaint now. They need bigger sporks. Cause, oh wow, that's actually really good. With the corn added, that's actually really good. I actually recommend that. Not to, not to, again, not to chill out for KFC. That's really good. Honestly, without the corn, it was just, it was whatever. I could actually, I don't know why they're just selling chicken on mac and cheese. That's so plain. Why is that a product? But with the corn in, it's actually, they should have made like a mac and cheese famous bowl. That's what would have been good. Like, okay, maybe not gravy. The may, okay, so I know it's a bunch of starch, macaroni, and mashed potatoes, but it could have been, instead of gravy, uh, chicken, a little bit of mashed potatoes, macaroni cheese with like extra cheese sauce instead of the gravy, and some corn and cheese on top. That'd be really good. Anyway, do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh my god, he was the narrator the whole time! Ah! <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some some snooping. Don't do that, come on. That's fucked up that he- I just really- it's fucked up that he has a stuffed chicken in here. I mean, maybe if it was like a pet chicken in the end, or- no, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, I guess... I guess it's fine. I- uh, Yeah, okay, it's fine, because it's like people have like, trophies and stuff. And, and you know, he kills chickens to eat him anyway, so it's not like- It's not weird, it's whatever. It's what- it's fine. Fuck it. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to- I'm trying to think how angry I am at that. <laughs> Not I me, mean, obviously it's just in the game, but like, if someone did that. But like, fuck it, whatever. I don't know. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Oh my god. Ooh. Alright, let me- <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Tap on an item to discover more about Colonel... Well, first of all, the chicken I was just talking about. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real! It's real! Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. Hmm. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Huh. Okay, no, that is kind of weird. Cause does he love chickens? Cause so then why does he why does he make a whole restaurant based around killing and eating them? If he loves chickens so much, I know some people are gonna be thinking I'm like being weird about this, but no, I think that's weird to to, to love an animal and then. Uh, and then kill him and eat it. That's that's weird. I know that's a thing people do, but that's weird. And so, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry I'm being so vegetarian to, right now. I'm, again, like I said, I'm not even actually vegetarian. I don't eat pig. I try, I like, I, I try not to eat meat that I don't already really like. And I don't like very much pig stuff, so I'm like, alright, I'm just not gonna eat pig. It's hard, you know? It's hard even just not eating that one meat, because it's everywhere. I have to, like, not get special baked beans and stuff. This must be where he keeps the secret recipe. Yeah, it's a safe, I, I figured. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it dawns on you. 
As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside, you find a single note. What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> hmm. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? I don't want to Google that. Oh, wait, no, I think that's just, like, sushi. He kind of did that in the opening a little bit. Uh, who's dead? Who died? You take a glue, sir. Don't pick it up, you fucking idiot. You clown. <laughs> you take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, Here lie the ashes of my all my past careers and business failures. How does that work? Did he, did he burn his outfits? Poor guy. No, 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 no. Oh, no, he's coming in. I only have time to look at one more thing. Ah, oh, fuck. What am I going to choose? Damn it. I really want to learn more about this stuff. I shouldn't have clicked on that. I was just clicking on stuff in order. I really wanted to look at this. And I knew what, know what this is, but I'm curious what it says. Is it flickering? No, it's it's still. Just like with that. I can look back on this because I have no idea what it is. I think it's just a comb. Oh, yep, it's just a comb, whatever. A, lo a lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair th therein isn't just silvery in color, it's actually made of spun silver. What? What does that mean? Wait, what's happening in here? Oh, I'm gonna- I can spy on him. Wait, but what is- I, I want- I want to know- I want- Alright, I'm just gonna look at stuff. That's- that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried- Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, what? They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. They're- okay, they're not doing that. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who... I wonder who my friend Pete is. What the fuck is going on? What? Why was there a Kentucky Fried Re Chicken restaurant and like the actual Colonel Sanders in that picture? What the fuck? Is, this is just... I'm so confused, man. Okay, let me look at this. A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. It's fried chicken. Power tool? Freshly starched collar? It's it's fried chicken. Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69? No, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's <laughs> Tap on an item to discover more about the coronal. Well, okay, what's well, this is a baby? An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that must that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That, or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Man, I would. Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? Okay, look. They did- he did do that. But I don't think- I don't think he'd be- I think he'd be a bit weirded out about how far they've taken that. Cause now he's not just the logo, he's the fucking mascot, and he's like this cartoon character. They have fucking Robocop Colonel Sanders, Rudy Colonel Sanders- No, except- no, it's not even Rudy Colonel Sanders, it's Rudy 2, except he's Colonel Sanders now. That was what they called it. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's so weird. Y'all are some... Y'all like to have to see some weird motherfuckers. Alright, what's he doing in Egypt? What, what is fucking going on here? The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what is the story here? Maybe this is where he just, uh, excuse me, <laughs> he's possessed me! Maybe this is where you discovered one of his secret herbs and s spices? Is he, 
like a mortal? What the fuck? What is the story here? Are we gonna find out? You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Oh my god, not this dude. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Are you- are you thinking about heading- What is he- what is he telling? Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I can just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? I'm really fucking up this Ronald McDonald voice. I cannot do Ronald McDonald's voice. You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. Uh, well, I guess we'll check out what's in this room next time on I Love You Sandy Cheeks. See you then.